All right guys, so in this video I'm gonna share a, a lucid dreaming morning routine. Now this can be done in 20 minutes or less. This is what I would suggest everyone, no matter what your level of skill at lucid dreaming to do. This is what I do every morning and this is pretty much gonna give you lucid dreams. If you just, if you do nothing else but follow this routine, you'll have lucid dreams, sometimes without even doing reality checks during the day. So if you just do this 20 minutes a day, if you set aside that time every morning to do lucid dreaming exercises or techniques, I guess you could say, you will have lucid dreams and you won't need to worry about reality checking during the day. Although that is a good habit to build and you know, you should, if you have time, you should reality check during the day. Anyway, so let's just get right into it. The, oh, by the way, can you subscribe and click the notification bell, please? Because YouTube doesn't show all my videos to all my subscribers. I don't know why, they just don't. Also, leave a comment before you've even finished watching this video saying like, hey, I love your hat, by the way, or that's an interesting plant in the background. Do you see this plant here? This is an interesting, people have commented on this plant. People seem to like it. So, morning routine. The first thing you do when you wake up is you do a reality check the second you wake up. You look around in your room as you're laying there, like you've just woken up, right? You do a reality check and you look around and you think, have I really woken up or is this a false awakening? That will catch 90% of false awakenings out. If you do that every morning, you'll never have false awakenings. And when you do have false awakenings, there'll be lucid dreams instead because you'll have the habit of doing a reality check first thing. So number one, do a reality check, catch all the false awakenings out right there. Number two, think about the dream that you've just had. Try and remember as many details as you possibly can and then write notes in a dream journal. You know you should be dream journaling, but just try and write them as soon as you remember them, like really, really quickly after you've woken up, you need to write down notes about your dream so that you don't forget any details. Then obviously later on you can type them up or expand on them if you remember more after you've woken up. But just the first thing, write the notes down in your dream journal and get everything that you can remember on the paper as soon as possible. Okay, so number three, wake up and get out of bed, but do it slowly, don't rush this, okay? Waking up should be a, a smooth transition between being asleep and being awake and doing things in your day. It should never and should never have been an instant panicked rush when you hear your alarm clock and you have to scramble out of bed and your heart's racing and you're sad and depressed and, and you don't wanna wake up and you don't wanna get out of bed. It should never have been that. And society has created a sort of sad version of a morning routine where you hear your alarm clock and you know that you have only a few minutes to get ready for work and get out the door. Don't, try not to do that, even if it means waking up earlier so you have time, just try and smoothly and slowly transition between being asleep and in bed and awake and doing things. Just slowly get up, stretch, relax, take in the details of the room around you, listen to the birds singing outside, like look at the weather, really take in the details and be alive in this moment. Don't just go on autopilot and then only really wake up at 10 a.m. when you're at your desk. Take in the details and be mindful as soon as you wake up and do a smooth transition between being asleep and being awake. Okay, so number four. So you've woken up, now go and sit in your chair, really make yourself comfortable, relax all your muscles, release all the tension in your neck, throat and shoulders and meditate for 10 minutes. Just sit down, set an alarm on your phone to go off after 10 minutes, but make it a relaxing tone. Don't make it something that's gonna jolt you out of your meditation. You wanna slowly transition between being in a meditative state and going about your day. So set a relaxing alarm, 10 minutes, sit there like this, like I'm sitting now, relax your muscles, close your eyes, and just count your breaths from one to 10. This is always the meditation I suggest to do because A, it's the simplest one I know, and B, it's effective, it really does work. And so if you can do this every day, there's not really much need for any more meditation. You know, obviously you can increase the length of your meditation if you want, and you'll get better results generally up to a point, right? There's sort of like a sweet spot of about half an hour to an hour where if you meditate longer than that, then you might get some benefits, but it's gonna obviously take up a lot of your day. I found the sweet spot for meditation is 20 minutes, but like I've said, this is a 20 minute morning routine. We've already done a few things in this routine, so we don't really have time to do a 20 minute meditation. So we're gonna, we're gonna stick to 10 minutes, okay? So 10 minutes meditation, you're going to sit there, close your eyes, count your breath. So you count one when you breathe in, and then two when you breathe out. And then three, four, all the way up to 10. And when you get to 10, go back to one again and start the whole process from scratch. Do this over and over again until the timer goes off. That's all you need to focus on. Don't focus on your thoughts. Don't think about what you're gonna have for breakfast. And if you do, and I should say when you do, because meditation is not easy, right? We're always distracted by our monkey mind chatter going off. So when you do think about these things, like what am I gonna have for breakfast? Try and catch yourself 
and think, okay, right, I'm not supposed to be thinking anything. So just go back to counting the breaths. That's all you should focus on. Counting from one to 10 and then starting again at one. And then the timer will go off. Now, when the timer goes off, like I said, it should be a relaxing tone. It shouldn't be something that's gonna blare out and sh like shock you, okay? So it's a relaxing tone. Don't turn the alarm off straight away. Most people do this and then they just instantly snap out of meditation and that's it. What, what you should really do is listen to the alarm and as the alarm's going off to tell you that your time is up and you should stop meditating, really take 30 seconds, at least 30 seconds, to sit there and pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to how you, your body and your mind genuinely feels. And I guarantee you that if you really pay attention and you're being honest with yourself, you'll always feel better than if you hadn't meditated. It always makes you feel better. No matter how stressed you are, no matter how tired you are, or whatever the case is, you'll always feel better after meditating for 10 minutes, no matter what the situation. So pay attention to how you feel and pay attention to the mindset and the state of mind that you induce by meditating. Think really carefully and feel what's going on in your body. Feel that awareness and that serene sense of calmness in your mind where nothing can bother you. You're in control, but at the same time you're observing things. You're not really interfering with things. It's a very, it's a very unique state of mind and you have to experience it to know what I'm talking about. Anyway, seven minutes, that's it. That's the morning routine, that's all you need to do. Do that every day, it takes about 20 minutes. Sometimes you can get it down to 15 minutes if you can write fast. So 15 to 20 minute morning routine, do this every day after a couple of weeks or so, maybe even less, right? You'll probably find yourself having some lucid dreams. If nothing else, just from the meditation, the writing your dreams down part and the reality check first thing because most people have false awakenings every now and then, but especially the meditation and the writing your dreams down, that will give you lucid dreams, I guarantee you. I'm trying to think what else to say of this for this morning routine. That's pretty much it guys, go ahead and leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, comment, leave a like, subscribe, comment, more comments, all of the comments. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description, you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.